Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I just planned to make a CSS project series so that we will create small CSS projects and learn from it. Because I believe uh, when you sharpen your skills, you actually implement it. So this is the CSS series episode 1 and as you can see we will create this beautiful glow hover effect. I will try my best to explain it. Uh, when you actually implement it, lots of things will be cleared. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and so that you will get a notification when I upload the next episode. So let's open your code editor. Uh, in my case, I am using VS Code Editor. So first of all, create the index.html file. So this is the boilerplate and now write the title. Mm, CSS series uh, episode 1 and link the style.css first so, so link the style.css file now create the style.css file so copy this and create the style.css file We also need font awesome CDN so that we can use font awesome icon. So this is our style CSS. And this is for font awesome icons. So font awesome. So this is the font of some CDN, the link in the description or you just type it. Let's move down a little bit and so font of some icon CDN and style CSS link. Now create a div. and give it a class is equal to container we will style it later first write the html part now inside this div uh, create another div and give it a class card so this is our first card inside the card create another card and give it some classes face and face one So another div inside this and give it class is equal to content in phase 1 class div uh, has icon and uh, h3 heading so open with live server so this is the heading now we also need icon so this is the font of some icon class is equal to fab fab dash windows so this is little icon here now with class face one div and create another div uh, and give it classes face and face two so in this div the content class is equal to content which contain the paragraph and anchor tag so you can see our html part of the first card is ready now <coughs> now add the anchor tag So the first card for HTML part is done now. So this is card one. Now we inside the card we have card face one and face two. So 
so it will look like this now copy the first card and so this is the first card and insert card 2 now paste it here and scroll the up change the apple adding apple and fa dash apple so apple icon and so this is last one for android same for the third card so card 3 this is for android so change the heading android fa dash android so our html part is done now so one two three so this is basically your three card we link our css style sheet so this one so let's write some CSS and style our cart. So start from the body and display flex. So close this one so you can see it clearly. Mm, yeah. So now you can see it clearly. So start from the body and display flex. So this defines a flex container inline or block depending on the given value it enables a flex context for all its direction children margin 0 and padding 0 mean it removes all the default margin padding for every object on the page minimum height is 100 viewport means 100 percent of the available height and give it a background color so it will look like this now justify content property justify content property basically aligns the flexible containers items when the item do not use all the available space on the main axis justify content center means items are positioned in the center of the container and align items property specifies the default alignment for items inside the flexible container Line item center mean items are positioned uh, at the center of the container. Now for the container class, let's uh, give it a width uh, 1000 pixel and position relative mean it is position relative to its normal position. Display flex and justify content space between mean item will have space between them flex wrap is wrap the flex property allows uh, enabling the control direction in which lines are stacked it is basically used to design a single line or multi line format to flex items inside the flex container and wrap property is used to break the flex item into the multiple lines it makes flex uh, items wrap to multiple lines uh, according to the flex item width now for the card the position is relative inside the card we have two divs uh, which is face 1 and face 2 and both also have the face class so first target the face class and give it a width 300 pixel with 300 high 200 pixel and transition 0.4 second basically transition allows you to change uh, property value smoothly over a given duration so now style for the face one class which has our icon and heading so face one this one and container dot card face and face one so 
so need to target this so that phase one this div uh, later I will show you how it will look like so position give it a position relative and background so that we will see it clearly so first give it a position and position relative and background color check triple three so so now you can see the, this is the phase one div and below is phase two div now add display flex and justify content center align so it will center and uh, align content center the align content property means it sets the distribution of space between and around the content items along a flex box cross axis uh, or grid block axis so align the item centers and z index one the z index property means uh, it specifies the stack order of an element an element with greater stack order is always in front of an element with a lower stack order and transform which is translate by 100 per pixel the transform property helps you to apply a 2d or 3d transformation to an element this property allow you to rotate scale move uh, and skew the elements translate y mean it will translate along the y axis and here we translate the 100 pixel along the y axis so it moves down 100 pixel as you can see here when we back to zero uh, it will back to the original position so we want this effect when we hover on the card so I think now you got my point and so let's do this for hover effect paste it and colon hover so when we hover it will move back to its original position copy the transform and translate by 0 pixel so now when we hover on the card it will move back to its original position and due to the transition this effect occur in 0 0.4 second now we need to add the glow effect when we hover on the card so for this we will use the box shadow property so the box shadow property attaches one or more shadow to an element and uh, we will use the inset the inset will change the shadow from an outer shadow to an inner shadow so let me just write and show you it will clear you set pixel and white smoke color so now let's look in our browser so when we hover this you can see the white smoke color so coming from outer shadow to an inner shadow so let's add more colors so right now only white smoke color so let's write some more colors It's at uh, 20 pixel and 0 80 pixel hashtag F4 F, or sorry F0 no, F0 F so this is F0 F so now look in our browser now we have two color white and ff color so we need to uh, glow effect so add some 
more color we use a trick so that it will glow now three colors Inset FOF mm. Add some more So now our glow effect part is done now So now as you can see here when we hover it will glow how cool is that so now we need to target the content class which is uh, this one and center the text and icon so target the content class so let's do that so copy this and dot content so here we set the opacity is 0.2 the opacity property sets the opacity level for an element the opacity level describes the transparency level where one is not transparent as you can see here so transition 0 0.5 a second and text align center so when we hover on the card we don't want any opacity so this our transparency level you can see that so we don't want this when we hover on the card when we back set to 1 it will back to its original so is right now is 0.2 so when we hover this the opacity will become 1 so let's copy this and add the hover card colon hover so copy this now when we hover the opacity back to its original level which is the one mm, now target the icon which is an eye tag so this icon onto some icon and target this so Position page I tag and so set the font size uh, three M and color is white. So set the color which is white, so color white and display inline block so inline block uh, it will allow to set a width and height on the element now for the heading which is this one h3 so copy this and paste it here replace i with h3 Set the font size, color, and remove this and text align center so it will center our text. So, phase one part is done. Now, before moving on to the phase two class, first add transition for the anchor tag. Copy this and 
एंकर टैग ए तो फेस क्लास इज कॉमन क्लास इन बोथ फेस वन एंड फेस टू डिज सो नाउ फॉर द फेस टू क्लास टारगेट द फेस टू सो कंटेनर कार्ड फेस एंड फेस टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेट पोजिशन इज रेलेटिव एंड बैकग्राउंड इज वाइट स्मोक सो इट विल लुक लाइक दिस डिस्प्ले फ्लैक्स एंड लाइन आइटम सेंटर जस्टिफाई कंटेंट सेंटर So padding is 20 pixel and box sizing border box. So box sizing property allows us to include the padding and border in an element total width and height. If we set box sizing border box on an element, padding and border are included in the width and height. So now add the box shadow property. Uh, the box shadow property attaches one or more shadow to an element so you can see it so you can see here the white div which contain the face to class we want to cover this with face one div so white div will cover with icon and heading and when we hover this it will show the blow text so when you scroll little bit up for the face one div so which is uh, this one we translated 100 pixel along the y axis so positive number move down along the y axis now we want to move up along the y axis which is the face to div so when it will move up along the y axis white div will under the face one div and you can see only the face one div so this is the face to div so this one so add the transform translate by minus 100 pixel so it will move up along the y axis so now you can see it and i hope it will clear now so it is minus 100 pixel so it, so face one div will cover the face two div right now now add the hover effect so that when we hover on the cart it will show the complete text and button so copy this and set back to zero and add the whole colon hover and copy this transform and set back to zero pixel so now when we hover it will show the blow text so almost done now now style the paragraph text and anchor tag so let's do that so this is for paragraph and anchor tag so font size margin 0 and padding 0 color hashtag 33 so no for the anchor tag so this is for anchor tag test decoration none and this we have no class so let's color black box sizing border box and outline one pixel dash and padding 10 pixel margin 15 pixel this plain line block so let's look at so final thing uh, add hover effect on the button so add the hover effect copy this and paste it here and add the colon hover so background 
change the background color color white smoke and a text color and box shadow so that's it uh, our cards are ready now i hope this video is beneficial for you and you enjoyed it hit the like button and if you are new to my youtube channel please subscribe see you next time